Happy winter solstice. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. One's ignorance of a concept or an idea is not an argument against it. This has been said many times to creationists trying to disprove the theory of evolution, even though they don't even understand it, so that's why they're using their non-understanding of it to try to argue against it. And this sort of thing applies to many, many things. It was asked of me if I think people should basically have to kiss people's asses who don't understand a concept in order to get them to understand. And I'm like, well, yeah, you do. You do have to kiss people's asses for this. Because you're not going to get a Christian, for instance, to understand a scientific concept if the whole time that you're uh, telling them about it, you're referring to their beliefs as delusional and their whole, their stupid sky daddy and all that sort of thing. You're not going to get the religious person to listen to you when you're referring to their viewpoints this way, even though their viewpoints may very well be delusional. It doesn't really matter. You have to kiss their ass in order to get them to understand. The same thing happens when it comes to a lot of the concepts that one would find in sociology studies. There's some bullshit within sociology studies, but there's some other stuff that, just like with fake news, we need to fact check and really look into things. People need to do the same thing with these concepts that are being shoved forth. And there's a bunch of them that people just completely throw away without knowing a damn thing about what people actually mean. So, you know, if we want to communicate, we want to get the people who obviously don't understand something to understand something, then we need to kiss their ass. It's just how it goes. I mean, there are so many things that the people who would label themselves as anti-feminists or anti-SJWs or anti-progressives or anti-you know anything that has to do with the left, the antis. <laughs> um, there's a number of things that people of that viewpoint get offended at, deeply offended at. Things that make them very, very uncomfortable. And when they get offended and when they are uncomfortable, out come the insults. Then when the people who they're insulting get offended at the insults, the ones who are initially made to feel uncomfortable over concepts tell the ones that they've purposely went out of their way to insult that they're thin-skinned. And I think that's rather interesting. Um, because it's kind of the pot calling the kettle black, you know? And I see this go on all the time. It's why it's almost humorous if it wasn't sad. How many people get so offended at shit and then tell others that, oh, you're thin-skinned. Well, they're not thin-skinned to concepts. You're the ones that, that you're the ones that are thin-skinned to concepts. You get all bent out of shape over it. And instead, instead of trying to find out what people mean, you just make assumptions and start throwing insults. Well, you're stupid for believing that. Well, do you even know what they mean? Well, no. One of the ones that, that this is done to all the fucking time is toxic masculinity. People hear those words and they're saying, well, you're saying masculinity is toxic. No, that's not what people are saying. And, and, and what's funny, again, is the concept 
you know, the, the, the phrase toxic masculinity was not originally something that feminists said. It was something that uh, advocates for men's rights originally said because of the standards that boys are expected to have to go through, these toxic standards boys are expected to come to in order to be considered masculine and how damaging that can be. It's not saying masculine, just actual masculinity is toxic. It's saying these things that kids end up feeling like they have to come to are toxic. Those things are not masculinity. But it doesn't matter how many times you explain it. People just can't even fathom the concept of it. It just kind of blows my mind. Just how many people won't even attempt to figure out what someone is talking about. And even when someone goes out of their way to explain it, the the responses to people trying to explain it sounds pretty much like a creationist arguing against someone arguing for evolution. So it, it's just kind of weird. Again, you know, one's ignorance of something is not an argument against it. Now, there are a lot of crazy feminists out there. There are a lot of crazy SJWs out there. There's a lot of crazy progressives out there. There are a lot of individuals who are part of different movements, like Black Lives Matter, who have done some terrible things. But that doesn't mean the concepts of a lot of those things, the concept like of social justice, the concept of feminism, the concept of uh, Black Lives Matter uh, are inherently bad. One, something that I saw recently was a Bering made a video that I, and I didn't know about this meme I guess it had been going around since the beginning of this month was it the third I think was the first third or the fourth was the first date that this was seen there's someone who's in the uh, common area of an apartment complex and it's meant to be there for, for the people that live at that apartment complex and the guy's just sitting there and some people start harassing him because he has this, uh, he had a, what was it, build the wall shirt on, right? It, it just, they treated him terribly. It was fucking horrible, right? No, no excuse for that kind of behavior. But because that was caught on tape, tape was recorded on tape, God, what a leftover of the past, right? Um, people are saying, see, this is what SJWs are like. This is what feminists are like. This is it's just like, wow. You know? And if someone shoves forth, you know, uh, uh, well, oh, well, this is what atheists are like. Or this is what Christians are like. This is what egalitarians are like. No, 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 that's not what we're like. Well, then why are you doing this to other groups? Anyway, one of the arguments, though, about that video that Bering had shoved forth, and it frustrated me, was saying that if someone is wearing a, a, a politically, a, a very politically charged, controversial shirt that, has, makes, that says a statement, and you are wearing that out in public, um, he's saying, well, that's not uh, someone asking to, to get into a debate. And I'm like, well, it, it kind of is. It's, it's, it's to not expect people to discuss it. Now, what these people were doing to this person was not a discussion. They were just like trying to shame the person the whole time. And it's just like, no, that's not a method to, that works. That's not a method that will do a damn thing. It was terrible. The treatment was terrible. But... If you're wearing some sort of political shirt, you damn well better expect people to possibly say something or to possibly start a conversation. It's the same thing as if, if someone goes out in public, they're wearing something really skimpy, they should expect to be looked at. I mean, period. That's just how it goes. If you wear something that is is... 
the the idea of it is to draw attention to a particular thing and people are drawn to that particular thing and go through with what has to do with that particular thing. You can't act all offended and surprised and all that sort of thing. Shit, I, I got fired from a job for a shirt I wore once. I, I uh, they fired me for being gay. I, uh, I was working at this company called Fastenal uh, in the mid nineties, it was 96, 95, 96, maybe it was 97. I thought it was 95 or 96 anyway. And a lot of people there wore somewhat political shirts. I didn't really pay that. My, I was somewhat naive at the, at the time. And, you know, I just figured out oh, just politic politics, you know, cool. People have different viewpoints. It's all great, you know, and they, you know, but most of their political messages were kind of right wing. So I came in wearing a shirt that said, some of my best friends are straight. And, uh, and the next day, suddenly I'm needing to be retrained or something, even though I was doing a fine job, I had a perfect record. And they're saying, they're saying, no, 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 don't, don't count this stuff out. It has to do with, with different types of fasteners and nails and clasps and things like that. And people order them and you have to do the count. And you have this little scale that you tear it out, tear, T-A-R-E, the, uh, the scale. So you know, it, it, it can know exactly how much each item is that you put in there. And you, you, you know, you get the number that way. And this, this uh, supervisor was telling me, no, no, shortcut, take these shortcuts. I'm like, well, that's, that doesn't seem right. And then the next day, I got fired for uh, having inaccurate counts. So, and then my friend who they, uh, who helped me get the job got harassed the whole rest of the time he was there and he eventually quit. I felt terrible about that. I didn't think that would be that type of environment, but it was. But, you know, a political shirt can cause a reaction. So, in this case, it got me fired. Just because it was the wrong message. Now, it was foolish of me, looking back, it was foolish of me to wear that. But, you know, live and learn. And then you get loves. Um... But yeah, if you're going to wear a political shirt out in public, you can't expect that someone isn't going to notice or someone is never going, you know, they're never going to say anything. Well, some people do. So anyway, I'm not sure quite why I went on about that so much. It was just one of those little points that that Baring was trying to make that I just I just really disagreed with. I thought I thought it was a dumb it was a dumb point. It 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 it, it was a bullshit point. <laughs> so, um, I guess I don't know what more to say now. Uh, I, I, the last version of this video was 48 minutes long and I was uploading it and then I said, you know, that's too fucking long. That's ridiculous. So I tried again and, uh, hopefully I will have said what I wanted to say. So happy winter solstice. Ooh.